Hey guys, here we go again. Another informational session on Eastern Alamance football. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video that was put out yesterday. And thanks to so many people who have been involved in just trying to keep you guys updated and, and figuring out what's going on during this time. Uh, got a, got a, a, a video here or, or some information here that I think is important. Uh, and it's important to know too, that just because you see something through the High School Athletic Association as it's in opening up on June 15th. Just remember and keep in mind that all of our stuff has to be approved by the Alamance Broken School System. So uh, we're gonna inform you the best that we can. And, and here we go with a, a slideshow that we have put together. As we're going through this, uh, just, just know this too, that uh, uh, you know some of it's repeating as to what we've done in the past and, and some of it's new information, so please bear with me. But again, here we go. Uh, welcome to, to Eastern Alamance football. And first, I'd like to start off by just saying congratulations to our class of 2020. Those guys did an outstanding job. They kept the Eagle tradition and the Eagle family alive. Uh, just those guys are gonna be missed. Uh, I'm glad we were able to finish football, but I just can't say enough about this group of seniors that we had along with the other class of 2020. Congratulations, good luck, and make us all proud. Uh, next special thanks goes out to Ms. Bailey Pennington, who uh, I'm hoping that if you have not seen, you will be able to see the, the video that she put together for us for just welcoming back football at Eastern Alamance. Uh, if for some reason you haven't seen it, that link is up on the screen right now, but shouts out to Bailey Pennington for, for helping us to, to make that a reality. Also, special shout out goes to Melissa Graham. Ever since we've been doing these videos, uh, I have to hear from her in Ohio saying, hey, where, where's my shout out? Melissa was a long-term uh, cheerleading coach here at Eastern Alamance and is a big fan and knows more about Eastern Alamance football than, than, than most of us, including myself. But shout out goes to Melissa out in Ohio. Uh, Again, just a breakdown of our physicals. You can see there, if uh, if your child's physical was done before 3119, they would need to get an updated physical. Uh, if the physical was done with three, between 3119 and 5120, then they are granted a, a uh, permission to, we're good for the year. And then if it was on or after 5220, then it goes back to the 395 day rule. If you've got a question or, or, or you've got some kind of concern, please reach out to me and I can let you know whether your child has an updated physical or we need to get one. Uh, two things that are very important. One, we shared with you before, but uh, with, the, with the return to play, we have added yet another form. Keep in mind too, these are two forms that we need to have on file before your child can participate. Uh, also know too that in the next coming weeks, we have actually uh, partnered with Home Campus. So all the, the uh, paperwork that we've done in the past will actually be done online. So look for information for that to come in the near future. But for right now, this is what we need on or before the re return date of, uh, of your child is go to the Eastern Alamance Athletic page, which is circled here. Once you go to that page and click on athletics, there's the two forms that we have to have. One is the, uh, the return for the COVID-19 with the other being the family history and the pre-participation. The second one, as we had talked about before, is the, is the front side of the physical uh, that, that they have to get every year. We have to have that updated and on file. So please make sure that, that you have those two forms. Uh, we will run some in, and have them in the main office. So if you can't or don't have a means of, of running those off, you can pick those up uh, at the front office next week. Uh, just to, to go a little bit here, the week of July 6th is the week that we're looking to return. <clears throat> right now our focus for that week is going to be on 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. And uh, players are grouped by positions because we have been instructed on what we can and can't do as far as numbers here at the school. Uh, the, the format that we're gonna use right now is if you're an offensive lineman or a tight end, 
Uh, and again, we will send these names out by list to you as well through the Remind app, but from 7 to 7.45, and then from 8 o'clock to 8.45, we're going to have quarterbacks, running backs, and receivers. From 9 o'clock to 9.45, we will have our defensive linemen. From 10 o'clock to 10.45, our defensive backs. And again, from 11 o'clock to 11.45, if you are a linebacker. Guys, we're going to work from Monday through Thursday of that week in 45-minute sections. And uh, it again, it'll just be for uh, rising 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. Uh, rules that we must follow, and these are, are mandated by the state and by ABSS. Uh, when you report to school that day, report to the field house patio. We are not allowed to go inside, report to the patio 15, no more than 15 minutes prior to your session. At that time, there's a list of questions that you're going to be asked and your temperature will be checked. Once you are cleared for play, you will enter the baseball field through the outfield fence. And when practice is over, you're going to exit through the right field or the first base side fence. Guys, upon finishing your workout, you're going to have to, to, uh, to leave right after practice. We cannot use the, the bathrooms or the inside. We will have our public bathrooms open if there is an emergency, but it, advising everyone that, uh, you know, you're here for a short amount of time, hopefully that, won't, that need won't arise. Also, uh, there will be no physical contact. Uh, and again, you can't report early because we are, we're limited to 25 people, including coaches that we can have on campus. So if, if you get here late or arrive early, that's going to put us, could possibly put us over the, the legal amount and we don't want to cause problems. Uh, you cannot, again, you cannot enter the buildings and you are encouraged to bring your own water bottle. Uh, put your name on it, label it, and uh, we will have water available, but we're labeling it for emergencies only. But please bring your own water bottle and uh, guys, we want you to be honest. If you're not feeling well, let us know. But if you're not feeling well, just because you don't want to come at seven o'clock, that's a, that's a whole different story. But uh, please follow these procedures and we, we will get through this. Uh, if approved by the ABSS, I'm sure there's some freshman parents or rising freshman parents that are looking right now and saying, when do we get involved? This is the week that we're trying to involve you. So it'd be the second week of, of, of return week of the 12th if approved by the ABSS. At this time, the numbers have gone up and we're, labeled, we're allowed to have 50 instead of 25. Then this is a tentative schedule that we're gonna follow right now. So from 7.15 to 8.30 will be offensive players. From 8.45 to 10 o'clock will be defensive players. And then on Monday the 13th and Wednesday the 15th, we will have our freshmen, our rising freshmen to come in from 10.15 to 11.30. I do realize that that's a tough time. It's early morning, parents work, and there's a, there's a chance it may not work for you. And if that's the case, please reach out to me, Coach Stokes, one of our coaches, and let us know that, hey, I'm going to play football, but I'm having a difficult time getting there at that time. Uh, so that leads us into this. We have 40 freshmen right now on a list of possible players. 20 have signed up for the, for the Remind app. Guys, the Remind app is our way of communicating through you. So if you know of someone or if you're not sure if you have signed up and you are a freshman, please text to 81010. And in the message bar there, put at EAJVFB2020. If you can do that, as soon as you see this, we will try to keep you informed the best way we can as far as what's going on. Uh, varsity guys, I think most of you have signed up, or if you are a rising 10th, 11th, or 12th grader, most of you have signed up or we've been able to get in touch with you, but rising freshmen, very, very imperative that you sign up for the Remind app. Again, that is text the number 81010, and then in the message bar put at EAJVFB2020. Please help us pass the word for that.
Uh, just a couple of reminders. Golf tournament's going to be August 16th. Uh, that's going to be pretty much one of our only fundraisers. So if you know of someone that has a business or you know of someone who wants to play or if you know someone who just wants to help sponsor, we, we are open. Uh, any help is, is grateful. Uh, guys, follow us on social media. Uh, those are the links above. I wish I could talk fluently about them, but that's kind of out of my hand. And I do want to thank Coach Morton for, for what he does for the YouTube. But more than I want to thank uh, Coach Carl for what he does with, with keeping you informed and what he does with our social media. Uh, a lot of shout outs have been going out and he deserves all the credit for that. Again, special thanks to Bailey Pennington and uh, what she's done for us here at Eastern High School as well. Uh, guys, here below is the uh, is for rising seniors. Uh, we have a questionnaire form that needs to be filled out. So if you are a senior, please look at this uh, website here and uh, please go on there and fill out the information. We do not want to leave anyone out. It can also be found on our Google Classroom uh, as well. Uh, seniors, please get that down. Please take care of that. Uh, guys, there is going to be a family reunion on July the 6th. It's when our day of start back is. and uh, We are uh, a family, and we are Eastern Alamance, and we can't wait to get back. July 6th is our day, and uh, I can't wait to see you. Guys, again, you know, the, the family motto, uh, forget about me, I love y'all. And I think that has been really unique for us here at Eastern Alamance in that, that we are close-knit and uh, we're, we're going to have a great year. This is our schedule we talked about before, and uh, I'm sure most of you guys have seen this as well. Guys, the next thing we got is a message from John Lamont here, who is an ex-football player, plays at Boston College. And in light of the protest and, and uh, the views of the world right now, this is a message from John Lamont. And uh, I think he pretty much says it all right here. But so proud of John, so proud of the man he's become. And he is a great, was a great leader for us here at Eastern Alamance and continues to be one at Boston College. But please listen to his message. Hello, Eagle Nation. This is John Lamont, class of 2016. And I wanted to talk to you today about the Black Lives Matter movement. The Black Lives Matter movement is a movement that brings attention to the social injustices that have been going on in our country and are embedded in our nation's history. This movement is not a war between blacks versus whites. It has nothing to do with political affiliation, but rather a battle between injustice versus justice to address the systemic and systematic oppression of minorities all across the country. I ask you not to focus on the negative distractions that take away from the purpose of the movement and divide our nation, but rather come together and unite as one community to educate, influence, and ultimately take action against these injustices. This movement will take everybody, everyone's voice matters, speak up against these injustices, because although you might not be directly affected, chances are you know someone that is. It is all our duties to have a positive impact on future generations. We must teach them to love and understand one another rather than to judge and hate. Because at the end of the day, we are all one race and that is the human race. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening. And as always, go Eagles. Guys, thanks John Lamont. Thanks for, uh, for sharing. Uh, we were very proud of John. Uh, guys, we do feel like we're a close-knit group. We feel like we can overcome. And, uh, you know, we just can't wait to get back. I hope this information has been helpful to you. If you got questions or concerns, please reach out to us. My email is listed there. Our phone number is listed there. Uh, reach out and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as we can. Again, stay safe, uh, continue to work hard, and go Eagles.